Now we're going to demonstrate the clamshell exercise. This is an exercise that's going to activate the hips and the gluteal muscles, as well as keep the core stable throughout. It's very important to note for this exercise, there's two hinge points that are going to stay stable throughout the exercise, and that's your feet and your hips. So we want to make sure the feet are in line with the hips. We don't want them too far back. We don't want them too far forward. Otherwise, you're not going to activate the muscles properly. This exercise, all you have to do is open up your knees just like that, just like a clamshell opening and closing. This is why I was telling you about the two hinge points. Your feet and your hips are where that motion comes from. You want to really feel a burn start to happen through your hips and your gluteal area. We also want to make sure you're not twisting or rolling. That's not going to be doing what we need it to do. The body stays still, the feet stay still, the knee is the only thing that's moving. It's okay if you're not moving the knee a lot. Most people don't have a ton of range of motion from this yet. That's what we're trying to work on. But we're going to do this for 15 to 20 repetitions, and that's the clamshell exercise. This one can also be increased in difficulty if the doctor feels it's necessary for you. We can take a resistance band and loop it around the knees so that now that's going to apply extra resistance, just like a rubber band. When you pull on it, it's harder to pull. Same principles apply. We're just going to be opening the knee, extra resistance, and you'll feel it more through the hip area. This is again, 15 to 20 repetitions, and that's the clamshell exercise.